one sees us, let's... Okay, they're all heading this way anyway. So what we gotta do is we gotta try to maybe see if we can... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them that sees me now. But they're not coming at me. They're going... I think they're following my scent trail. Like the scent trail I left south. Oh no, they're fighting something. Oh, they're chasing the damn rats! Okay. Okay, dum-dums. Still going after the rats. Uh, I bet I could yell, but it would probably trigger all of them. What I'm hoping to do is if they... Yeah, see, that's what I was hoping for. breath. So there's two, two less in the pack. Still chasing the rat. Still chasing the rat. Got one to break off. Still chasing the rat. Got two more to break off. Back. Can't be too many more. Where'd they go? They must have went south. Yeah. All right. Well, that's. Hey, turkey bacon. Thanks for thanks for showing up, man. I appreciate it. We gotta find that um, that soldier zombie corpse. That's what we need to do. He's gonna have some good gear on him. I just don't remember where that was. Yeah, I think we're too far north. I think. We kept kind of bailing to this side. Nothing. Giant ants. We didn't see any of those. So. It must be further back this way. Shell casings. Man, I don't know where... Uh, Where those corpses are. I got a zombie coming here. He sees me. 4.6 by 30 millimeter. What the hell fire is that? Yeah, I'm trying, man. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can make you promises, but I might very well be lying to you. Chasing that rat. Keeping pace. Oh. Nothing. Alright, so we gotta go further south. Uh, a couple of zombies down there, it looks like. And I think this might be the... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, there's the grappler. So, we're getting close. There's a soldier. Thorazine? Alright. There's the M4A1. Uh, there's the entrenching tool. We definitely want that. Army winter jacket, army winter pants, helmet liner, molly helmet, army winter gloves, webbing belt, clean water, first aid kit. Uh, 
hemostatic powder, army helmet. There's the ESAPI combat boots, knee pads. So yeah, this guy always has baller gear. Uh, but <clears throat> we had to drop our bags, and we got to go find those first, right? So let's uh, note soldier zombie zombert soldier zombert. So now we can get back there. Now we got to find our bags. Wherever we dropped that, which is probably up here. If we can find some uh, pile of turnout gear. Yeah, we fled. Fled from over here. Right, we fled from the front there and came out this way. And we started going down and we're like, oh, wander spawn, and then bailed out this way, as I recall, and there's our stuff. Perfection. Fanny pack. Travel pack. Oh, that's all we brought with us. Okay, pick it all up. I uh, gotta smash that guy. We gotta smash that guy. I don't know if there's any more unpulped corpses. They'll show up yellow on our list if we can see them. But yeah, we definitely gotta come back and get all that stuff. Uh, this is Zombert. He's not necessarily the way we're going. I don't want to have to fight that guy because then we have to drop everything and pick it all back up again. And I'm just lazy. I mean, really, when you know we boil it down. All right, there's the dead cow, so we're really close to home. There's the German Shepherd who's been hanging out, so we know we're close to home. And he's in the back of my cube van. What is it with animals in this playthrough just making themselves at home? Now we don't have to worry about seeing them anymore. Alright, so what we gotta do is we gotta... This stuff here is stuff I wanna cut up. So let's over, like... We'll, we'll say right here. Let's make a pile... of all the filthy stuff because we're going to clean it and we're going to cut it up and get a bunch of Nomex. Uh, we are going to save a couple pieces of it. Uh, kit, sewing kit. Oh, I never, um, I never sorted it, so it should be here. But we need the soap. We need the washboard, the sewing kit, the scrub brush. Uh, we're actually, damn it. I didn't... Okay. Better idea. All of the stuff that we don't need to hang on to. We're going to drop. So the only thing we have is the stuff that we need. Now we're going to pick all of this back up. Because we got to bring it into the kitchen where the water is. Activate. Screw, uh, we'll do washboard. Uh, we don't have enough water. Uh, but that's fine. Because it's just a little more work. To come over here. And find a puddle. Because puddles have infinite water. For now. I'm sure they'll eventually nerf that, but I mean, and it makes sense. Yeah, infinite water. There we go. We clean all of that stuff up. And then uh, scrub brush. Clean all of that stuff up. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. I'm 
bring it back inside. Um, now, turnout coat, you know of nothing you could craft with it. So I don't think I have to keep extras of these. I think we can just cut all of that up. So let's uh, let's put it in the uh, cut up pile. Uh, the PBA we're definitely keeping. Uh, we only need to keep one helmet. They're both in equal shape. Right? We don't need the gloves. We don't need the... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That should be everything. So what we should do then is cut everything up. 32 Kevlar, which we needed, and 36 Nomex. Banging. And we can... Are we not wearing these? Should we not be wearing these? Oh, we got the sunglasses. Okay. Uh, we'll uh, put all that stuff away for just this very moment. Just to just get it out of, out of the way. And it's not confusing me. That should have all went in here. Uh, so we'll need that guy. For the survivor mask and all the rest of the stuff we need oh no 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 we need a um, raincoat and we also need something else tool belt that's what we need I think that should be enough to make everything for the survivor suit that we need Okay, light survivor suit, uh, and then survivor suit. We're gonna do the the actual survivor suit. Yeah, mama. Uh, I'll do soldering iron. It's fine. So probably take probably the rest of the damn day, if not more. No longer see well enough to keep crafting. That's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to... Get a can of, regular can of beer. All right, do it. Yeah, fuck it. It's the apocalypse. Have another one. Still says I'm tipsy. I I got the addictive personality, so I gotta be careful with that. <laughs> uh, I need to drink more water. Apparently. There we go. Uh, no pain. We're tired. Yeah, we're in good shape. Uh, we gotta close the door, otherwise we'll wake up with a cow running around. If you guys, if you guys play this game, make sure you close doors because you're gonna wake up with something on in your damn foot. Yes, save game. Don't set an alarm. Should be be able to sleep just fine. Got a couple beers in him, nice and relaxed. In fact, I think that's gonna be my plan. Here in a little bit. Oh, God, it's 7.05. Okay, well. <laughs> I had something I was supposed to do at 6.15. Eh, a little late now. I didn't realize what time it was. Oh, well. It's 5.07 in the morning. It's still really dark outside. Uh, so we're not going to be able to finish crafting until it becomes day. But we're hungry. Uh, so let's spend some time eating some cracklings. So we're good there. It's our body weight. Still good, so we're fine. Uh, tailoring's at 75%. We're almost we're getting there on that, too. Um, What can I do for like a couple of hours? 
And the sun should be up really quick. Uh, let's just do this. Uh, not... Oh, God. Candle. Candle! You idiot. <laughs> Candle. Light it. Alright, so now we got enough light uh, to uh, finish this craft. And now that it's daytime, we'll stop crafting. We'll put the candle out, and now we can finish working on the survivor suit. There it is. Very cool. Now we just gotta, uh, what is, do, do I have to take off the touring suit? Really, that's it, huh? Okay. The leather touring suit is gone. Yep, nothing else is interfering. So we've got the flame resistant suit, the survivor suit, and the survivor duster on the torso. On the head, we got the light survivor hood, motorcycle helmet, uh, balaclava. We should probably do a flame resistant hood. Which we no, we have one right here. So let's drop the. Oh, uh, ooh, I actually don't know which one of those is considered to be in better shape. I think it's this one. I don't know. It's a deeper red, though. I don't know. Uh, let's get rid of the balaclava. And let's wear the flame-resistant hood. Yep, next to the skin. Um, and just to verify that that is indeed the right thing to do. Oh, it's because it's uh, reduced because of the damage. Well, let's repair it. We've got that kit still, right? No, we don't. It's alright. Activate kit. Sewing kit. Can't see to do that. You suck. <laughs> alright, let's move over there. Activate sewing kit. Repair that. Yes. Uh, fully repaired. Flame resistant hood, fully repaired. Okay, definitely in better shape now. 10%. Alright, so this one is in better shape. That's why the success chance is 2% higher. Because it's harder to repair something the more damaged it is. So, do that. do that. Yep, and it also refitted it. So we're good there. It says I can't. Uh, I really don't like reinforcing these things even if they have a 0.2% chance to fail because I know my damn luck. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Motorcycle helmet we can't do anything with. Survivor suit. Light survivor hood. Okay. Survivor duster. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Um, but we should now be able to make um, survivor Survivor. Is a heavy survivor mask or light survivor mask? A survivor mask. Two pairs of safety glasses or a pair of ballistic glasses. Can I make glasses? A pair of safety glasses. Okay, I just need to make two of them. Not a long string. Small plastic bottles. I'm literally making safety glasses out of plastic bottles. That's funny. Uh, just do the regular survivor mask. Uh, got f 
plenty of duct tape, but super glue is actually really easy to make. Soldering iron. Good deal. Make. Uh, yep, yeah, that guy. Wear it. Uh, so, motorcycle helmet and sunglasses can go. We got the flame resistant hood, the light survivor hood, and the headlamp. And then the survivor mask is just eyes and mouth, technically. So I should still be able to wear a helmet, just not the motorcycle helmet. So like maybe the, the firefighter helmet, right? That's uh, a poor fit. Can we re, uh, fix it? Can. And it's refitted and it's repaired. Let's wear the firefighter helmet. Yep. Nine bash, nine cut, four acid, six fire, six environmental. Fantastic. Uh, we're really over encumbered on our arms. Uh, it's probably from these metal arm guards. Yeah, encumbrance 15 right there. The head doesn't matter so much. We'll leave it for now. But we're going to have to figure out uh, what we can do instead of these metal arm guards. There's got to be something better now that I've upgraded my my tailoring and uh, fabrication skill. Uh, but yeah, we got... Uh, I think that's all the survivor stuff that we can really make. That we want to make anyway. We got all the gloves, the mask, which we just made, which, uh, by the way, we have to unload the cartridge from that guy and load the cartridge into that guy and then we can activate it and it'll show that it's in use but it doesn't go down it doesn't lose charges unless it's actually filtering out toxins so we can just leave that going all the time Then we ended up with, I feel like that's a dupe glitch. Alright, I feel, uh, I feel way better. I look cooler with all its survivor gear on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... That's where we're going to call it for today. We, we made some really good progress, some really good upgrades here. Uh, should increase our survivability uh, pretty substantially. Uh, I'll look up off stream how to tame that dog, see if maybe we can get some I Am Legend kind of stuff going on. And then uh, we'll look to see about better arm guards, maybe better leg guards, uh, help get rid of some of the encumbrance there. And then... Um, we gotta go back here and get this soldier's M4 and the rest of his gear. And then, uh, I'm not sure what I wanna do after that. Uh, maybe we can look at clearing this town just enough to get to this last man on earth shelter. Uh, Cause I do wanna set up shop in there. Uh, it can be a little dangerous, but I, I think it'll be fun to be able to do it that way. Yeah. So thank you everyone who tuned into the stream uh the many many follows and raids and hosts were all super excellent and i very much appreciate it the 12 yellow buildings oh you down here this is a private resort that's where we found that uh, that keg 
and that um, barrel of whiskey. There's also a uh, strip club <laughs> inside there uh, that had drugs all over it. It was pretty funny. Uh, we might be able to go down and, uh, you know, explore this town too. Hotel. Trailer park. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I want to do some more exploring. Uh, I, I don't like just sitting at home. Uh, the crafting was necessary, uh, but I got to get... I need medium batteries. To, uh, rechargeable medium batteries and I need uh, a recharger for my vehicle because that's another thing I want to do is I want to uh, get the mobile meth lab armored and kitted out so that'll be for uh, for next stream for sure which cataclysm will be on Thursday tomorrow we're doing dwarf fortress uh, that was a lot of fun last time and I got a lot of viewers so I do want to do some more of that and then Friday is supposed to be terraria I haven't been getting a lot of hits from Terraria, so I might do it. I might not. I might figure something else out to do. Um, yeah, so let's see. Who is online that we can raid? Yeah, so let's see. Ooh, feedback. My God, I hate it. Who else is streaming Cataclysm right now? Pragon and Riku Mali. Well, Riku Mali has zero viewers, so we're going to raid him. All right, y'all. Thanks for stopping in. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.